Zer is currently in the Winding Cove in the EDZ and he is currently selling. Monte Carlo, this is a really good exotic if you're trying to do a melee build, specifically because this is all about melee. Again, uh, dealing damage with this weapon reduces your melee cooldown and grants a chance to fully charge your melee ability with each kill. And on top of that, you have Markov Chain, which essentially is an exotic swashbuckler. This weapon gains increased damage from melee kills and kills with this weapon. Melee kills grant ammo for this weapon. So again, uh, this is going to be a really good exotic for melee builds, which is funny considering tight our warlocks and hunters got two melee uh exotics so speaking of hunters let's go look at them they got liar's handshake using your arc melee ability or being hit by a melee attack will allow you to follow up with an extremely powerful melee counter punch that will heal you this is a really good exotic for basically uh melee builds or if you're a solo player you can do like stupid stupid amounts of damage with it it's also probably one of my favorite exotics just because uh, I run the one-two punch and uh, Liar's Handshake build a lot. It's like one of my go-to. Uh, specifically with Top Tree Arc, that's the one you want. These stats are like okay, but you don't really don't need high mobility for this build specifically because for Top Tree Arc, uh, your melee ability kills grant you your dodge back. So you're always doing, you're always killing with, with your punch and getting your dodge back immediately. So that way you can get the stacks up to five, I think it is. So I highly recommend it, even with the stats being this low, it's really good. And I, again, I, I recommend you get this. Next up is Titans, which you guys got Helm of Saint 14. Enemies that enter Word of Dawn are blinded while allies that pass through gain an overshield. Guarding with Sentinel shields blinds nearby enemies. This is really good. Uh, a lot of Titans wear this, obviously. Uh, I know a few people who just wear it for the style alone, which is very, very uh, acceptable considering this is like one of the coolest exotics that Titans have. Not only that, but I think the stats are pretty good. You guys have high resilience, which is definitely what you want to see in a Titan. And you could get that recovery up to 21. So that's really dope. I highly recommend this one specifically if you guys don't have it. I, I'm, I'm getting it because I don't have a good one. So that's pretty cool. And last but not least, Claus Vahamkara basically gain an additional melee charge. This is really good if you guys want an additional melee charge. I know a lot of people that use these in PvP with uh, Top Tree Solar, just so that way they can have two of them because Top Tree's uh, melee is really good. But again, any any melee that you can think of, you're getting two of these basically. And not only that, but look at the stats on this. Resilience is at 12. You can get it up to 22 if you want, or you can get up to 30 on recovery. And then strength is fine at 15. I probably wouldn't go for, I wouldn't put anything on strength for a Warlock or Titan, but that's there. You can also put it on intellect, which would turn into an 18. Overall, this is a really good arm, which again, you, I just have to pick it up. So let's go to the weapon. Seventh Seraph, it's coming with an auto loading holster and a range finder. Uh, I wouldn't recommend this just, I mean, if you don't have a Seventh Seraph car carbine and you wanna have the, the uh, Warmind build, then for sure. Seven Seraph Seraph also, I probably would not recommend this either because Pulse Monitor and Feeding Frenzy is just like kind of like whatever. Uh, Last Dance, Threat Detector and Range Finder. I might do this one for PvP because it is a, if I remember, fires three browns. So that's pretty cool, but at the same time, uh, not really. Timelines Vertex, uh, Firmly Planted and Demolitionist. This is probably a really good one for PvE, I'm not gonna lie. Firmly Planted's pretty good and Demolitionist is definitely gonna be good for getting your grenade back. Long Shadow, Hipfire Grip and Rampage. I wouldn't recommend this. Uh, Hipfire Grip on a Sniper is stupid. Not only that, Long Shadow, you definitely want like Rapid Hit and uh, Triple Tap, I think it is, or something along those lines. I think that would be way better for PvE. Honor's Edge, I probably would not recommend this either just because those two tireless blade and shattering blades just like ugh. and then frozen orbit uh no either i mean box breathing's nice but i wouldn't do it just because i don't even use fro frozen orbit in pvp to begin with so for pvp box breathing might actually be useful but for me i probably wouldn't be using it and last but not least we ended up getting the woven firesmith armor which is from season of the forge it's the seasonal armor, so if you don't have it, definitely scoop it up. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. If you guys want to follow me on my social media, I'll link to in the description below. I thank you all for coming to this point. Uh, just to let you guys know, I'm actually going to be streaming right after I make this video. So if you guys want to check out the live stream, uh, it's uh, 
twitch.tv slash fix tony you guys can catch me there we'll most likely be play playing destiny 2 today so yeah i'd love to see you there and i'll see you guys later